effort. The government, the federal government is in charge. The president says he's a wartime president. This is a war against his virus. He should act like a wartime president. He should have someone else in charge with him, making sure all these things get implemented. It's not like we didn't know this was coming. Mm. That I'm going to be putting our vice president, Mike Pence, in charge. And Mike will be working with the professionals, doctors, and everybody else that's working. The team is, is brilliant. I spent a lot of time with the team over the last couple of weeks, but they're totally brilliant and we're doing really well and Mike is going to be in charge and Mike will report back to me. Your plan would they not. They do not have to buy in. They do not have to buy in. You just said that. You just said that two minutes ago. You just said two minutes ago that they would have to buy in. You said they would have to buy in. Have to buy in. If you qualify for Medicaid, are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Are you forgetting already what you said just two minutes ago? I mean, I can't believe that you said two minutes ago that they had to buy in, and now you're saying they don't have to buy. You're forgetting that. Because they invaded another country and annexed a significant portion of it called Crimea. He's saying that it was President, my boss, it was his fault. This I'm back. I've been here a number of times. Last time was, I think, uh, all the way back in 2014, but I've been here before that. I love this place. I love, look, what's not to like about Vermont in terms of the beauty of it? And what a neat town. What a, I mean, this is sort of a scenic, beautiful town. The mayor's been a good guy, and they've got, everybody's been really friendly. I like Keene a lot. If you agree with me, go to Joe 30330 and help me in this fight. Thank you very much. You know, our forces in Iraq and Syria are now focused on protecting themselves, preparing to leave, putting the counter ISIS mission on hold, and allowing a deadly terrorist organization the room to regroup and reactivate. The Iran parliament, the Iran parliament voted to eject all Americans. And if we do end up having to leave, that would be another boon for Iran, tipping the balance of power in the region in their favor. Well, just weeks ago, there were spontaneous protests across Iran. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. P wealthy kids, black kids, Asian kids. No, I really mean it, but think how we think about it. The option I'm proposing is a Medicare for all, in a Medicare for choice. The job from your insurance company, from your employer, you automatically can buy into this. Large savings. The president thinks, uh, my friend from Vermont thinks that the employer is going to give you back. You're occupied by the National Guard for 10 months. I've been involved from the beginning. As a young congressman, as a young uh, uh, councilman, I, I made sure that we did deal with redlining. The way Beto handled, excuse me for saying Beto, what congressman... That's all right. That was good. <laughs> you didn't answer the question. Well, the question I, I is, did you, make question. A, no, did you make a mistake with those deportations? The president did the best thing that was able to be done at the time. How about time. you? I'm the vice president of the United States. I did not say I don't stand. I stand with Barack Obama all eight years. Good, bad, and indifferent. Uh, look, uh, we're either going to make the policy or China's going to make the trade the rules of the road. Pakistanis provide bases for us to to airlift from. And with regard to uh, with, with regard to um, uh, Iraq.